All right, today we're going to take a look at an introduction of 3D composite shapes. Before this, we solved 3D shapes, basic 3D shapes like a rectangular prism, a triangular prism, and a cylinder. So a composite shape. Well, composite means made up of distinct parts or elements. And a composite shape is a shape made up of two or more distinct shapes. So here we have two composite shapes, a 2D and a 3D. And we can separate the pieces. So in this house problem here, I would find the area of the square and then find the area of the triangle, add them together to find the surface area. What makes 3D shapes different is that we have an area that is covered. So this area down low, when the rectangle moves up, is covered when we have the shape together. So that's no longer exposed surface area. And what, that's what we need to consider when we solve these problems. So I would solve the rectangular prism. I would solve these uh, two cubes. And then I would make sure I subtract this area underneath. And that's what we call our area of overlap. So we're going to go through our area of overlap. So here's a composite shape. You're going to first separate the pieces. And you'll see that I have a rectangular prism and you have a triangular prism here. Then you can expose your area overlap. So area of overlap is what was covered when the pieces were together. So you can see that we had a rectangle here and a rectangle here that was covered. So two rectangles of the same size need to be either not added when you solve this problem or subtracted after you solve this problem. So be sure to either add these two rectangles or not add these two rectangles when you solve each the rectangular prism and the triangular prism, or just to subtract them after you've uh, taken the surface area of each of these shapes, added them together, and then subtract your area of overlap. You're going to find the area of overlap in different problems. So our house problem here, we're going to remove the roof, and you're going to see a rectangular prism and a triangular prism. Then you're going to expose the area of overlap. Two identical rectangles, and you make sure that you either add these rectangles sorry, subtract these rectangles after you found the surface area of each of these two shapes, or that you just don't add them in the first place. You recognize that I don't want to add this piece or the top piece here. A Lego piece here. We're going to separate the pieces, and I see two cylinders and a rectangular prism now. And we're going to show the area of overlap. So in this case, I see four circles because when I removed the cylinder, it, re it showed two spots that I would have counted that I shouldn't when we have this total surface area of our Lego piece. So we find the surface area of each, the rectangular prism, the cylinder, and the second cylinder. And then we make sure we either don't add these four circles or that we do subtract them after we found the surface area of each of those shapes. So here is an area of overlap for a staircase. I'm gonna separate these shapes. And then I'm going to expose the area of overlap. Okay, now it's hard to visualize this, so I have a front and a back view. And you can see how this shape here would have connected to this area of overlap. And that this piece is also having an area of overlap on its other side. So you can take a look, you can pause this and just kind of visualize it a bit more. Um, you can see that there are two large rectangle pieces. That's this one here and this one here and two small rectangle pieces here and here that are our area of overlap. And you wanna make sure that you add subtract those pieces or that you don't add them in after you find each of these rectangular prisms and add them together. That'll conclude our lesson. Thank you for watching.